we come to this place to find a quiet corner. That was a John Sawatt's phrase. A quiet corner where we can get away from the disturbances of the world outside and get to know our own minds. And so that we can develop a quiet corner within. Because if the only way to meditate were to find quiet spots like this, we'd be miserable. Because there are not that many quiet spots in the world. But if you can learn how to develop a quiet spot inside, then you can go to that spot whenever you need it, even if you're when you've left the monastery, when you're out in the midst of big cities and other activities, and your work, your home. Try to keep having the sense of a quiet spot inside. While you're here, try to develop the skills that you need in order to maintain that spot. And skills here re refer not only to learning how to focus the mind, keep it focused, but also having some of the right views that allow you to shed a lot of the other concerns that would normally clutter up the mind. In other words, if you see that the daily issues that you're dealing with are really important, you're not going to be able to let them go, even for a little while. But if you realize that the things of the world come and then they go, and what's of lasting value is the state of the mind. When you get your views straightened out like this, that's a skill too. It enables you to settle down and find that quiet spot and protect it, and then maintain it as you go through the day. So you always have access to it when you need it. So even though it would be nice to take the quiet of the monastery with you, you can't do that, but you can take the skills. The skills of virtue, the skills of concentration, the skills of discernment. So these are the things that we focus on. Make sure you don't leave them here when you go. They're meant to take with you, because the skills of meditation are the skills for how to live and even how to die properly. All the things you're going to encounter in life. If you have the skills of meditation, they're going to help you through. So meditation is not just a matter of sitting with your eyes closed. You sit with your eyes closed so you can focus on mastering these skills, and then you carry them out into the world so you can use them with your eyes open as you're moving around. That would They'll be right there when you need them, because it's not the case that greed, aversion, and delusion arise only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed. There's a chance for them to come up all the time, so you want to be prepared all the time. So always keep your skills at hand. <laughs>